guys. Welcome back to the house. So they are really out here trying to call Kathy Hilton a racist. And we really got to figure this out because quiet as it's kept, I like Kathy Hilton. But sis, if you are a racist, we're going to have to throw you away in that hot garbage along with Garcelle's book and that damn old ass telephone. All right. Now, this anonymous source sent in some alleged tea to a blog, and I'll go ahead and link down everything in the comments down below. But I need y'all's help uh, kind of weaving and putting together this story because it just seems like it's all over the place and I don't know what to believe. This person says, you were asking if anyone knew what happened in Aspen with Kathy. Well, here it is. Now, I'm assuming the ladies went to Aspen on a trip for Beverly Hills, right? The girls were at a club and Kathy Hilton called the bouncer or the DJ the N-word. Now, if you're going to send in some alleged tea, have alleged accurate information. Okay, was it the bouncer or was it the DJ? Two different things. It don't make it right no matter who it was. But at the same time, I'm just saying, if you're going to send in the tea, have it be right. Like, was it the bouncer or was it the DJ? Anyways, child. She called the bouncer or the DJ the N-word. And also called another worker the F word, a homophobic slur, because she was not getting the VIP treatment. She had a tantrum and Lisa pulled her out and they went to Kyle's home. Now, I'm very confused about this. If they're in Aspen on a trip for the show, how did they go back to Kyle's house? Now, does Kyle own a home in Aspen or is she renting an Airbnb? Okay, questions that need answers. And the only reason why I'm nitpicking because I'm really trying to figure out if this T is true or not. So, so far, there are holes in the story. And I'm not saying that the story is not true. I'm just saying that we're missing a lot of pertinent, significant information. Yeah, okay. Kathy Hilton, when they went back to Kyle's house, had a full-on fit at the house. She was screaming and yelling, and that is when she said she hated Kyle and called her all types of horrible names behind her back. Now, if this is a house that Kathy, or excuse me, that Kyle Richards owned, how the hell is Kathy Hilton coming up there talking mess about Kyle Richards in her own home? Okay? Even if this was an Airbnb that Kyle is just renting, how the hell is you talking mess about the leader of the damn trip? <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying now, this is the part of the uh, story that I tend to believe because in the trailer, we do get that um, we do get that scene between Lisa Renna, Kyle Richards, and Kathy Hilton where Lisa Renna is basically exposing Kyle for talking mess about her sister, Kyle. Basically exposing Kathy for talking mess about her sister, Kyle. I think I said that wrong the first time, okay? So I tend to believe this and I also do believe that Kathy and Kyle were just trying to pretend to be nice and pretend to love each other for the cameras. But I really do think that their whole trio situation between Kathy, Kyle, and Kim is a whole hot damn mess. I don't think them sisters really like each other like that, okay? And I knew it was only a matter of time before the shit was going to hit the fan. I mean, I'm just saying. And the common denominator is Kyle. I'm just saying. Um, so, yeah, she went back to the house. She had a fit. She started screaming and yelling. She started calling Cal all types of horrible names, talking mess behind her back. The other ladies then locked themselves in their rooms. Do y'all believe that? Do y'all believe that all of the ladies locked themselves in, the, in their rooms? Okay, let's pretend like that's the truth because they were so scared. First off, was Garcelle on this trip? Was Crystal on this trip? Was Sutton on this trip? Was Erica Jane on this trip? Erica Jane, who's not scared of anything and anybody. Lisa Renna was on this trip talking about something. She was scared. I don't know about that. See, this is, this is why this is hard to believe. Everybody, all the other ladies locked themselves in their rooms because they were so scared of freaking Kathy Maga Hilton. Get the hell out of here. Get, get the fuck. Anyways, um, then after that trip, Kathy Hilton disappeared for two weeks, which is the truth. She did not go to the finale party, which is the truth. Meanwhile, Kathy Hilton sent out cease and desist to the media, I think is the half truth, um, to not, for them not to talk about the situation. The uh, uh, ladies were also sent a text not to talk about it either. One of the ladies, I'm assuming Erica Jane or Lisa Rinna, claims that they have a text to prove that Kathy Hilton sent to them saying, please don't talk about this incident. Um, Erica, 
Um, it's assumed that she talks about it in her confessionals this season, but we are not sure if Bravo will air anything about the slurs, okay? The N-word and the F-word. Now, here's my thing, and I'm going to wrap it up. Um, I see both sides like Chanel. On one hand, I do believe it because there are clips, and the internet is undefeated, there are clips being resurfaced of Paris Hilton and Conrad, uh, Kathy Hilton's son and daughter, going around in public saying the N-word, okay? So the apple does not fall too far from this damn tree, from this MAGA tree, okay? And where did they learn to say those words? Was it Mommy Dearest, Kathy MAGA Hilton? Mm, it would not surprise me, okay? So that's one reason why I feel like this could be believable. But at the same time, why is Kathy Hilton the closest to all the women of color on the show? Including Crystal Minkoff, the first Asian lady on the show, Garcelle Bouvet, the first black lady on the show, and Cherie Zampino, the second black lady on the show. Why is it that she's so close to these women? They were just seen at a charity event all of three days ago. I mean, I'm just saying, so if she really was slinging out the N word and the F word, why is it that Cherie and Garcelle and Crystal are still cool with sis? Were they not there? Were they not in Aspen? Were they not privy to the information? Maybe they just did not hear it. Like, I don't really know. I'm confused. And why the hell with Kathy? I mean, if this is true, she had to be on drugs. For you to be saying the N-word in front of Messy Lisa Rana on a cast trip on Bravo, knowing what just happened to Jenny Wynn, Knowing the backlash that Kelly Dodd gets for being MAGA, knowing the backlash that all the conservative, racist-like folk on damn Bravo get, like, they get so much backlash. It just seems so stupid and dumb for you to be slinging out the N-word on this damn cast trip, knowing that there are cameras and messy people all around just waiting for an opportunity to drag you down to the ground on this little TV show, literally. Now, I wanted to read some of the comments under this Instagram page, Everything Housewives. Someone says, Garcelle is still very close to her. I can't imagine if she said that, that they would still be friends. I think it's Rena trying not to have eyes ever on her myself, but I guess we'll see. Someone said, SMH Bravo better air the evidence or this is slander. This is defamation, honey. Okay. Another person says, this seems very fake. Also sounds like an ambush on everyone's favorite girl of the show. I don't know, y'all. We got to figure it out. Let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments down below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to create a great day.